What's up? I'm Dr. Chris Hood. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 foods that will kill you the quickest. So patients ask me all the time, Doc, what are you eating? What are you doing? How's it going? What's happening? The easiest way to refine through the junk here is just give you the top 10 foods that will kill you the quickest. You ready? Number one, sugar. Sugar should be called Christian cocaine, man. People eat sugar like you've never seen before. It is the worst thing for you. Now, okay, everyone's got a sugar addiction. You're watching this video. You want to push stop already and get off of this because you're like, you suck, don't tell me this. But here's the thing. White refined sugar is bleached out. It's horrible for you. It spikes your blood sugar, causes obesity, causes cancer, causes all kinds of diseases that you don't need. Use honey, use brown sugar, use molasses. Use natural sugars as they occur on the planet. Stop the white refined sugar. I know it's not popular, but number two is even less popular. You ready for this? Number two, food that will kill you the quickest, dairy. So before the American Dairy Council slaps me with a fine and shoots me dead in the street with a sniper, I want to talk about the fact that milk is for baby cows, not for baby people. I could do an entire hour on dairy and show you the research on why it's so bad for you, but check this out. Milk is designed for a baby calf to gain thousands of pounds in the first year of life. When you take a human being that never weighs thousands of pounds and you feed it those protein sources, it's just not good for you. I could talk about renin and renes, but I think the easiest way to get the milk point across is I want you to think about what breast milk is for a human baby. It's white blood cells, it's passive immunity, it's immunoglobins, it's a mother passing her immunities passively to a child. If you didn't know that, that's why babies need to breastfeed because it's giving them natural passive immunities of the mom so the baby doesn't have to develop them. Now let's then talk about what cow's milk is for a baby calf. It's white blood cells, it's immunoglobins, and it's pus. It's basically passive immunities for that cow to give to the baby cow. And so that alone is the grossest thing ever. So the next time you're having a big bowl of cereal and you're putting that whole milk on there, I want you to think about you're just eating cow pus. So if you like cow pus, go for it, but that's what it is. Second worst food that will kill you the quickest, dairy. Get away from it. I could rant on and on and on. If that's not enough, I want to know who decided one time in history to reach under the rear end of a cow and go, it looks good on my cereal. Anyway, number two, dairy. Number third worst food you can ever eat, artificial colors and flavors and, and, and basically artificial sugars. So that's actually three things, but I'm going to categorize it into one because of this. You ready for this? It's chemical. It's man-made in a laboratory. Most artificial colors and flavors and preservatives are designed to increase the shelf life of foods. So if you just wanted to do artificial as my number three worst food that will kill you the quickest, anything artificial will kill you because it's designed in a laboratory so that they can sell you foods for longer periods of time. You ever hear that like a Twinkie has a shelf life of a thousand years? The reason is it's not food. It's got so many chemicals in it that you could literally put it on a shelf and you could leave it there for a thousand years and open it up. It's actually the same. Another one, we should do a whole other video on this, but the jelly that's in Twinkies, uh, that's a siren in the background. They're already coming to get me. Here they come. The siren, all right, the jelly in Twinkies, little white filling, you ready for this? It's made from petroleum. Yeah, that's right, gasoline. Check it out on the web, you'll find out. Twinkie filling, petroleum, you heard it here, it'll kill you. That wasn't a food, but that was just for fun. So artificial colors, flavors, all that kind of stuff. You know what, let's do number four, artificial sugars. I gotta say this, the pink packet causes cancer. The blue packet causes multiple sclerosis. And the pink packet, I'm sorry, the yellow packet, that's chlorinated sugar. I can't name them, by, uh, the cops will keep coming if I just name them by name, but you know what I'm talking about. The yellow packet is chlorinated sugar. Everyone thinks that's the healthy one. My grandmother taught me not to drink bleach. Did you have someone tell you don't drink bleach? If you eat the yellow packet, you're putting chlorine ions into your body, it's not good for you. Pink one causes cancer, blue one causes multiple sclerosis and neuronal or neurological disorders, and the yellow one, hey man, the jury's still out. We don't have enough people eating it for decades enough to kill them. It's chlorinated sugar. What was that, number four? Number five, worst food to eat ever, hydrogenated oils. So you hear this all the time, right? But all of the oils that are in food, um, those are the oils that you're looking at, the rancid oils like corn oil, canola oil, all of the vegetable oils, that's the one I'm looking for, vegetable oils, Man, they're not good for you. You need to be using omega fats, fish oil, flaxseed oil. For God's sakes, just eat an avocado every day. I talk to people all the time and they're like, as they're eating a Twinkie and they're slamming down their diet soda full of artificial colors, they're like, an avocado? That's disgusting. 
And in, in between the petroleum leaded, you know, like Twinkie and the artificial color or the artificial flavored soda that's going to give you cancer, yeah, man, the avocado sounds horrible. Get some good fats inside your system, good natural fats. People say all the time, you mean fish oil? Man, when I was growing up, my grandparents who raised me force fed me fish oil. They did. It was like when I'd get in trouble, they'd be like, here comes the cod liver oil. I was like, yuck. The reason they did it is good. It's good for brain. It's good for nutrition. It's good for health. It's good for your life. Eat an avocado if you don't like it. Put down the Twinkie and the diet soda and really just start working on it. Okay, number six. Here we are, number six. Number six worst food to eat, white bread, man. That's why they call it Wonder Bread. You got to wonder if it's actually bread. It's like a sponge. You ever see those toys you get for free where you squeeze them down and they pop back, they look the exact same size? That's what Wonder Bread does. Squeeze it down and pop it up. White refined products, not just white bread, but white bread, white sugar we talked about. What they do is they actually bleach it. Now, why do they do that? Has anyone watching this video ever made homemade bread? Maybe you haven't. But if you have, it doesn't last long when you make it. Now, that's not because it tastes so good everyone eats it. It's because, literally, it spoils within a couple days. So what they learned to do in the food world of food science, by the way, there's entire laboratories of people and scientists working with beakers and all kinds of equipment to figure out how to get that food to last longer on a shelf because the longer it lasts, the longer they can take your money from you, right? So anyway, white refined bread has been stripped of all of its nutritive value, so it doesn't spoil, so it lasts on the shelf like the Twinkie a thousand years. I'm telling you, stay away from any of the white bleached flour. Number seven worst food you can eat. Now I'm going to get pretty granular with this. I may be calling you out. You ready for this one? Highly caffeinated beverages. Now listen, I live in a world where you know there is like a coffee shop on every corner. You know what I'm talking about here. And obviously, if you check my energy level here, I'm into caffeine. Check it out. I probably drank two cups of coffee this morning. But when I start looking at the nutrition diaries on some of the children that I take care of inside my office, they drink things for breakfast I've never heard of. I had one come in a couple years ago that had horrible, irritable bowel, digestive distress, been to four other doctors. Not one of those doctors ever took the time to look at what the kid was eating, right? So I'm just like, well, okay, let's see what's going on. They had all kinds of medications. Turns out every morning for breakfast, the kid would drink something called, I don't know, an amped monster or something. Like it was like, that was the breakfast. That and white sugar powdered donuts every day for breakfast. That's not irritable bowel syndrome. That's called sick stomach because you don't eat right. So highly caffeinated beverages, man, that may get you through the day, and I don't want to get attacked by any of these companies that make this stuff because, you know, you already heard the siren once today. The thing is, is that the, those beverages are bad for you. Caffeine's cool. I'm into it. But the thing is, when you drink it for long periods of time, it steals water out of your body. So if you're going to do it, drink enough water during the day. You need to get six bottles of water in there. And you'll always hear me say it's going to make you pee good. You'll get more exercise walking back and forth to the toilet. The eighth worst food you can eat. We're on number eight. Number eight worst food, ah, worst food you can eat and why? I'm psyched. It's too much caffeine. I had a Twinkie. What can I say? So the eighth worst food that you could possibly eat that's going to kill you the quickest is going to be soda. So I tagged it a little bit before, but now I'm going to get real granular with it. I promised soda is so bad for you. The carbonation in soda causes osteoporosis. The sugar levels in soda, man, there's enough sh sugar in a can of soda to paralyze your immune system for like three days. As a matter of fact, it, you know, it's just so bad for I can't even start. The artificial colors, artificial flavors, anything else, then people go, hey, we'll just do a diet one because that's got to be good. Then we add artificial uh, sweeteners to that. It's even worse. Ninth worst food you can possibly eat, the ones that kill you the quickest, you, we've had white, sugar, white bread, I'm running out of food. No way am I running out of food. It's fast food. Stay away from fast food. I show you a picture of a Big Mac Happy Meal, Happy Meal with like a, like a double cheeseburger and fries. I've got a friend who's had one of those in his front of his office for three years. It doesn't degrade. It doesn't look bad. Nothing to it. It just stays there. Stop eating fast food. There's no good thing about it. The number one most popular food in our culture right now has nothing to do with nutritive value or how healthy it makes you. It has to do with time. It's fast food. Number nine, stay away from it. Worst food you can eat. But number 10 is going to blow your mind. I've been saving the best for last. You ready for this? Number 10 worst food you could possibly eat, margarine. I know. It's good for you. Butter's bad. Listen, just eat butter. At least I know what it is. Here's the word on margarine. I'm going to blow the lid off of this. The sirens are going to come. They're going to handcuff me, shackle me, get me out of here. The FDA doesn't want me to tell you this. 
It's digestible plastic. Margarine was actually invented at the University of Texas. You can look this up. All you web guys, check it out. And it was invented to fatten up turkeys. So they were using it and injecting the turkeys with it to try to get them nice and fat. Every time they injected the turkeys with it, it would kill the turkeys. So what they did instead is repackage it, create a butter substitute, sell it to the real turkeys, that's right, you and me, as butter. Now when margarine first came out, and I, I am taking some artistic liberty with this conversation, but bear with me, when margarine first came out it was clear like plastic because that's what it is. And so they had to sell it with a pellet of dye that you would pop in there, ask your grandparents, and stir it up so it would actually turn yellow so you'd actually want to eat it. It actually turned to kind of orange. It doesn't, it's not good for you. It's digestible plastic. It's not designed for the human body. It causes all kinds of issues. And once every two years, this research study comes out that I see in the paper. It's like, margarine is bad for you. No crap, margarine's horrible for you. You shouldn't even be coming close to eating it. It's not food, and I'll prove it to you. Take your tub of whatever margarine crock that you buy at the store, take the lid off of it, and leave it outside in your garage, okay? Leave it there for like two weeks, go back at it, look at it again. It doesn't melt, it doesn't mold, there's no bugs eating it, there's nothing, there's no cockroaches in it, because it's not food. If they don't eat it, you shouldn't eat it either. That's my top 10 worst foods to eat. Not only that, they're the top 10 foods that will kill you the quickest. I hope you enjoyed it. Like us on Instagram, watch us on Facebook, check us out on Twitter. I don't know. Just go ahead and do it because you know what? I'm really cool and fun to watch. And there's going to be other videos that are popping up. I got more top 10 lists. It's been awesome. It's all good in the hood. I'll check you next time. Thanks very much.